morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I hope everyone's okay. Um, I've got this thing. <laughs> I will start off like this. Maybe I shouldn't start um, messing around. I've got this thing where I can use different desktops and it uses my <laughs> camera. But I can't make it work. So I had a nice sort of side angle for you to watch as well. So um, I don't think it's going to do it. No, it's not going to do it. Good morning. Anyway, this morning. <laughs> Good morning, anyone's there. It didn't um do a uh what was it a holding card to say I was here because um it doesn't let me if I do it through um like a <laughs> streaming thing. <laughs> morning, Menly. If that makes sense, oh, it probably doesn't because it's a bit technical. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking nonsense to myself. So I've only got this. Um, I've got a, such a nice side angle. Well, I'm gonna have to sort that out. <laughs> if I go to settings, oh no, I'm not going to start fiddling around now because um, I thought I'd got it all right, but obviously not. Right, this morning, <laughs> it's the last of the poppies, the last November day I'm live, so um, I said I was going to paint some Him Himalayan poppies, which are the blue ones. I've already set out a little bit of masking fluid on here, I don't know if you can see, I was trying to... Um, a bit more. I don't know why I've got this board under here, so I haven't, I'm not sticking it to it, so it doesn't need to be there, it just distracts from everything, doesn't it? But that's better. So, sorry about the light, it's really dark here. I have got three big lights on, I've got two either side here and one up there, <laughs> which I keep banging my head on. Um, these are the poppies I've oh, I went on Pinterest, and this is one of the photos that I really like so if you go on Pinterest there's loads so I just picked one which was quite nice now it's jumped so I'm just going on my photos and I like that one so I've just got that over there as inspiration I have managed to grow these once in my garden then they never came back ever again so I gave up hi gems <laughs> hello 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 I'm really sad that I haven't got that lovely side view thing going on. I keep flicking over things, but obviously I'm doing something wrong. I need like a gamer to come and tell me how to use this thing. Because I've got like this, I also asked my son, you know. <laughs> got it set up for um, different screens and things. If you see that micro fluffy thing, sorry, I'm just trying to, I've got like a big microphone there and it's, <laughs> sticking in the way so um this is the paper i'm using i always get asked <laughs> um this there we go you can read that can you read it it's 350 gram which is about 190 pound watercolor paper i've got a3 size and it's quite thick um brushes i keep getting asked about my brushes this is a Zen Art, you can't read it anymore because I've used it so much. It's my favourite brush at the moment. And this one, followed by the um, Cat's Tongue, which I like. It's a faux squirrel by Zen Art, a three-quarter inch one. And I have got a bigger one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. And I like brushes that have a nice spring to them that go back. If you press a brush down, it just goes bleh, like a limp thing. <laughs> it's no good. It's no good for anyone. And I'm not getting back into that limp talk. <laughs> which we found rather amusing last time. Let me move some of these bottles. I've got like these inks. Watercolor. Oh, somebody asked me what is liquid watercolour the other day. And I don't know who it was. So I thought, what's I've got it here. This is liquid watercolour. It's like concentrated liquid stuff. It's already like, you can add water to it and that, but it's liquid. It's not solid, which, which is really nice, but it's not very light fast. And um, there was a big discussion on um, some web, some Facebook page about um, fugitive, fugitive, oh, I don't know, <laughs> fugitive, I can't say the word now, I can't think what it is, watercolours, <laughs> I'm throwing paintbrushes everywhere, I should become a juggler, I think, um, <laughs> fugitive watercolours, 
and I was like, what the hell are fugitive colours, watercolours? And they were just talking about colours that don't last, like um, they change colour over time. And I was like, oh, who's got time for that? Just paint, have fun. Nothing lasts forever in life. If it's pretty at the time, it's pretty at the time. And then they got all arsy. But I was like, Ooh, okay, I'll keep shut. <laughs> I don't remember that fugitive one. What movie was that? Oh, I haven't seen your reel yet, Gem, so I'm going to go and look. <laughs> right, okay. I'll stop blabbering and um, actually paint something in there. <laughs> I think my mask, I was waiting for my masking fluid to dry. <laughs> there you go. Right, last time I painted these... They were, you know, this is really bugging me. I've got a really nice, like, side angle, and you can see all my colours, and, oh, I can't remember what I did last time. Put it on scene two, desk scenes. I've got different scenes. Maybe I've got, I've got to press something. I'm not, I'll stop worrying about that. Let's just get on with it. Right, I've got all my blues, all the blues. I've got cerulean blue, this lavendery blue, another cerulean blue. A cobalt, no, that's cobalt, that's cerulean, this is ultramarine, and that's the greeny blue. And then I've got my favourite blue over here, which is the last bit I've got left, so I need to buy some more, is in Deserine Blue by Winter Newton. <laughs> so, with all the blues there, I should be able to paint something, and my iPad keeps shutting off, so if you see my arm shoot over there, Sorry about that. I'm just, oh look, I've just already made a poppy. There's one. Ah, tissue. Block. Right. <laughs> I'm going for the cobalty blue sort of colour because so, they're so pretty and it's got sort of this colour which has got slightly a movie colour in it. And I did just put down a little bit of masking fluid. So I thought that might help me on my journey. Seen as, um, I'm part of um, Natasha Gulliford's um, in-house creatives and this they've been um, painting using masking fluid so it made me get my masking fluid out the other day and you saw the ones I did and they are up for sale but I haven't um, god I don't know where they are I was going to show you them but I can't um, they are up for sale <laughs> Put them. I put them somewhere. I was taking nice photos of them. They are up for sale on my new website because it's got a proper nice shop that I could do in it and it's half the price. So um, I've changed my um, website address. You'll love that, um, <laughs> Melanie. So yeah, um, this this on this picture it's got like the orange from the I don't know if you can see <laughs> the orange from the uh, middle. Oh, well, I closed it. Come on, sorry. I don't. My iPad just keeps shutting off all the time. It's really annoying. It's got a bit of orange. Dare I put it in, or would it go muddy? Sort of drifting off into the it's like a watercolour painting really where the orange drifts off into the let's just do that that would do <laughs> it's weird painting with masking fluid because you have to remember that you've put like a few of the highlights in so you don't have to really worry too much <laughs> i'm just trying to make the they've got like four petals they are pretty I'm trying to vary the blues in it just to um, make it a bit more interesting rather than just blue. <laughs> Drop a bit there and then another bit there. Sorry if I'm not on doing the chat. This is the chat's to the side. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and I've got one, a new website for my other art as well. Because I'm going <laughs> to... That's... um all back up and running and I'm gonna like my YouTube channel and things 
for my Mitzi B art if you like my cats. Um, there is a cat up for sale on my new other website. <laughs> God, got two websites. It's a problem with having like two different art styles. I put it all together thinking, yeah, I, I was just me. But then when I do like videos of my other art, I, people just don't like it because <laughs> they just want to hear, come here and see watercolors. So I have to like split myself up. So I'm like a, like a um, schizophrenic painter. I've got two different styles. So I have to have two different websites two different Facebook pages because <laughs> they are extremely different styles so um, yeah <laughs> I don't know it's gone really um watercolory splodgy in this I don't want it like that so much so I'm gonna have to get a pencil out. can you see that right yeah, I'm really up high on there sorry there we go it's not as blue <laughs> Remember, it dries lighter as well, so um, let's just do, um, I'm trying to get looser, I'm I was um, a bit, uh, what do you call it, getting a bit tight. Last time I painted these, they were like botanically painted and looked like a photograph, because that's how long ago I painted them, but I don't want them to look like that this time, I want them to look like free and loose and capture the essence. <laughs> yeah and my other one for my art is michelle you did you put that one up michelle crow art dot com there we go <laughs> and that's the one with my um what do you call it <laughs> watercolors on michellecrowart.com has got my watercolors and the mitzi b crow one has got my my other art my abstracty expressionist art on it sorry my my inspiration photo keeps buggering off i'm gonna put it next to the chat and then i can see the chat and then i have to keep looking that way and look. yeah well, i think it makes sense to have different styles um of painting because you would like different mediums. I know I can paint this style, but, um, you know, if you're creative, you're creative. You're creative in a lot of ways. I mean, I like I like gardening. That's kind of like another creative side of me. Sorry, I'm just arranging my balancing, um, <laughs> my balancing, what do you call them? Palettes. Um, yeah, you're creative in lots of ways, I think. So I like, I like sewing as well. I like making things and... I'm creative that way as well so you can't just stick to one thing and it's boring it's boring when I get bored of doing watercolors I go and do my other painting <laughs> I'm gonna stick a bit of green in the middle of these because um, I'm just blotting <laughs> hopefully it's gonna dry and dry so um I can show you the middles I don't want to have to come back and do this. I might stay here longer this morning. <laughs> right, this is a bud. They have really like big juicy buds. Even though they're quite quite delicate flowers. And their leaves, they've got like fluffy leaves. Check my mic, has it gone off? Oh, no. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> I don't know what's happened. It should be alright. <coughs> Jesus. I just covered it up. Can you hear me? It says it's on. Alright, that's alright then. <laughs> it should be alright. It's on. And I'm using, like... Because like, I've got my new computer. I can um, use my fancy gear. <laughs> Maybe it is you. <laughs> There's a little volume slider underneath the um, video. <laughs> Usually, um, thing. Oh dear, I just splodged something. There is a, a little volume slider. You can control the volume and you can control, control the speed. If you're watching one that I've already pre-recorded, you can speed me up if you don't like me chatting so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really weird. You can't please everybody, can you? I get like, someone say, oh, I wish you wouldn't talk so much. It's like, I'm live. <laughs> You're watching it back. You know, <laughs> some people don't get it. I was just like, okay, all right, you come. I said, well, I've got lots of pre recorded ones you can watch. I was like trying to go through some of my videos. I'm doing like a, next, next month. And if you're a member of my Patreon, which you can become a member of, it's all very new and fancy, but there's a lesson up there. You get a free lesson each month, like a proper lesson. Not me doing this. <laughs> Where I talk you through properly things. And um, the first, what was it last November was one, was Poppies, of course. So we've just done that. And I set projects. So if you're a bit stuck of things to paint and that, I'm going to be a set project. So this project, this month was poppies and like how you can paint them and stuff like that. Next one is Christmas things. This should be fun. So I'm going to be going all whimsy on you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the volume at the bottom on the thing? <laughs> what was it? Yes, yeah, so I was like, oh no, not the sound again, but I'm all mic'd up. It's good. I've got one of these really nice mics, the round blue, the snowball things. <laughs> I look, that doesn't look very nice, but it's okay. I'll just give it, it's like a droopy one. I'm not copying the photo exactly, so... Um, it's, it's all it's all good this one's turned out like at completely the wrong angle I don't know I've done it like slamming your face on <laughs> I might do another one down here just because I can one without masking fluid then I can do like the middles splodge some this one's like just coming out so it's not fully out yet. This colour's weird. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I did have Himalayan poppies in my garden. I've grown them once and um, then never again. <laughs> I don't know, they, I, I think it's too cold up here for them. Even though if they're hit from the Himalayas, they should be able to tolerate because apparently they are hard to grow so um yeah i haven't bothered again because they're quite expensive things i did try and grow them from seed but nothing happened like quite a lot of seed things <laughs> happen <laughs> if you remember to water things oh, i'm terrible and if they're inside i'm just like yeah okay i'm not good <laughs> says the person who opens their garden and like, yeah i'm not good with plants I just throw things. I like things that just grow naturally. You know, you just throw things around and you do a bit bit of tinkering here and there of stuff. That's, this is a bit um, not quite... Yeah, I might find some. Normally, they're hard to get hold of, I think, as well, is another thing. They are pretty, though. There's a house near me that opens up their garden. Um, I forgot what's called now. And um, they always have beautiful ones. And the lady there gave me some seeds, but they didn't work. <laughs> I love the orange. The blue and orange is just really nice, isn't it? So this is what I'm sticking in now. I'm not sure if this is going to be like dry enough for me to remove the. I might cheat a bit and try my um. What do you call it? Dryer, but then the um, masking fluid will stick like anything, which isn't a good look, really. <laughs> Hi, lollipop strawberry. <laughs> I always like it when you come on. So you remind me of my sister. She's called Lolly. I used to call her lollipop. <laughs> This is the middle of this one. They have like very pointy middles, pointy seed heads. 
I don't know if this is like, I think it's okay. <laughs> What paint am I using? I'm using a mixture. I use a mixture of water colors that are, oh, they're all artist quality. The mixture of Daniel Smith, Winsor Newton, um, Mission Gold and Van Gogh. So, um, and I forget what colors they are because I just go, oh, I like that color. And, and that's the color I pick and I don't really take much notice what it's called. <laughs> Or anything like that, but some of them I remember, and when I do remember, I do say. <laughs> so, sorry, I can't get this all in. I'll keep flipping. I've done that really low down that one, and um, it's sort of gone off the the page a bit. So, this is my inspiration. Um, that's not the inspiration. This is the inspiration. <laughs> It's got a really nice orangey background, but I'm not going to do a background on this. <laughs> I love seed catalogues, and many they're, they're brilliant for like. Oh, I'll just use that green. It's supposed to be blue. Um, they're really good for like painting and inspiration. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just like spreading out my brush. I'm not sure if it's going to work. No, it's too much paint on it dry brush dry brushing add a bit of texture to that leaf right come on guys have you dried up here i want i'm itching to take the masking fluid off i might give it a little whiz on the um i'm just doing a bit of dry brushing and also trying to get rid of the wet paper i don't want to take the masking fluid off whilst it's um wet because it just messes it up completely if the colour was a bit better, the colour's not so dull. It's not... Can you see? It's like purpley blue. It looks quite dull on here. I think it's just the lighting. It's so dark here. No, you can't send seeds abroad, can you? I was like, oh! <laughs> it's illegals. Don't want to mess up the, um, what do you call it? the ecosystem but then you get seeds that uh you can buy seeds from china here which is really weird it's like some countries you're not allowed i'm not sure if i can receive them or you can't oh i don't know something it's something weird anyway <laughs> it's not weird it's like for a reason but i don't know <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna plug in my uh, gosh, what can I undo? I need I need an extra plug. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I've got if you can't hear me, it's because I've got a head under the desk. <laughs> I'm trying to set up my thing so I can just dry it a little bit. Right. If you are painting oh gosh, run over my watercolour paper with your chair. If you are painting and using masking fluid, don't use a heat gun. Because it sticks to the paper. Or don't use a hairdryer. But I'm just, I'm going to, I'm just trying to dry it off a bit. Just lightly dry it, because it was almost dry. Almost, not quite. That would do. I'm trying not to burn myself or set anything on fire. <laughs> right. I keep throwing it on the floor and I forget I've got carpet up here. <laughs> right. I'll turn this upside down. And I've got one of these rubbers to um, remove the masking fluid. It's not quite dry, but we'll see how it goes.
You know, when you have days where you just feel like painting, today is one of those days, and I've got a gazillion other things to do as well, so probably not going to get around to it. <laughs> oh, look, see, it's starting to pull up the paper, which is not good. You have to be quite light handed with it. <laughs> That's because I used, it's not quite dry, it pulls the paper up. If you like run your hand over it, you can feel where you um, used the mask in fluid. See, it's pulled the paper up there. Sometimes it's a bit harsh, this thing. I'll just use my finger, maybe. I just did little light strokes of it. Poppies love my garden, like proper poppies. And those other like oriental style poppies as well I like it and the big opium poppies which I love as well the big poppies they just like shit soil don't they and they like not to be watered <laughs> that's, that's where they like my garden <laughs> any plants that like like don't like being touched or fiddled or watered grow really well in my garden <laughs> Any plant that like needs like lots of faffing around with <coughs> and special care, I, I tend not to be very good with. Succulents are my like excellent plant to grow, and also like pond plants because you just stick them in the pond and, and that's it, <laughs> you don't have to worry too much. But then again, I've got my like bananas and things like that, which I have brought in. So um, I do look after things in the end. But this has gone horrible here. It's pulled all the paper up and then there's a big splodge. See, when you've done the masking fluid and you've got the white paper, some people just leave it like that. It's like, no, you can paint into it, paint into it, paint into it. <laughs> And then you can leave like little areas that you want, and and then it, that's how it works. Don't just leave it white unless you want, like. Don't leave all of it white, should I say? Unless there's like a specific area you're needing to be completely white, then don't. This is like now I'm fannying around. Aren't I? Can you see up there? <laughs> Oh, we have, we've had uh, frost, Lisa, we've had frost and for the last week it's been fog, we've just had fog and it's really depressing and I don't like it and I want it to be sunny again. We had a little bit of sunshine yesterday for like 10 minutes and then the fog came back. I was like, no, it's like a scene from a um, horror film. <laughs> like the fog it's like really thick freezing fog as well so we had a really it went down to minus three I think the other night and then um <clears throat> and then um it's um cold where are you gems for it to be that cold why did you live somewhere so cold I'm scared to put the heating on at the moment on and then Steve gets home from work and goes, why are you so cold? I'm like, I don't want to put the heating on. It's going to cost so much money. And he's like, you can't sit in a in the cold and freeze to death. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I can't afford £17,000 for my gas bill. But they, <laughs> but they said it was going to be. <laughs> About to Canada. It, it's not always cold there, though. It's a different cold, isn't it, to here? We get the wet, damp, miserable, foggy, nasty cold <laughs> that gets in your bones. I think I think Canada has that nice dry... Do you have that nice dry cold? I don't know if it's nice, but it's cold. <laughs> the crisp coldness that's... It's a different different cold. <laughs> Let me... Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like these 
Himalayan poppies. I need to paint them a bit more. They look very um, shit. <laughs> I don't think I like to live somewhere that's always cold. I've decided. <laughs> I've had enough of being cold. <laughs> I'm like already willing for summer. Please bring summer back. I didn't used to mind the cold when I was down the winter when I was down south. But then it doesn't get, it gets so cold up here. The first time I witnessed that cold that gets on your head, where it gives you like brain freeze, was when I moved up here. And I was just out one day. I was like, why is it, why is it my head hurting? It's like, it's because it's, it's cold. <laughs> okay, ah. Oh. Looking <laughs> for my pencil sharpener. I don't like my Himalayan poppies. <laughs> Summers get really hot. That's good. Or at least you've got some. Some summer. <laughs> Right, that's sort of, oh, I don't know, I don't I like this one down here. This one looks nice. <laughs> this one, I don't like. It's like in your face. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't gone around it. It needs more fiddling with. <laughs> I'm bored of painting them now. Can I do something else? <laughs> that's what I usually do. I'm bored of that. I wanted to get like the more of the um this one was going under that path that one so I'm just putting in a bit of shadow to see if it makes me love it better but I don't think it's going to and I don't like where I've masking for it's come off it's made the paper go all weird because it wasn't quite dry <laughs> Yeah, I just lick my brush. <laughs> I don't like this painting. <laughs> I never throw stuff away though. I can paint over it. <laughs> don't like it. No, they look like Himalayan poppies though. I'm not sure what I don't like about it. Let me think. It's too splodgy. I like this one. I don't like these because I think I've overworked them a bit. I don't like that. It looks like a blob. <laughs> I like the shape of this one, but there's something about it. I, I really just don't like that one. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. I think I've finished because it's annoying me now because I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. I think it needs a bit of highlight on the um, these things. This was my. Um, Pasta pen, pasta pen to the rescue. This is sort of running out. I need a new one. It's got to be like really watery for some reason. It's like, like, it's like there's no paint in it. It's just water. Do they do that? I can't even, can't even see. Maybe I should use some. What should you call it? Gouache on that. <coughs> no, there. There we go. That's my Himalayan poppies done. I'm bored of it now. <laughs> so I only have attention span for half an hour and then I get bored. <laughs> okay, thank you for joining me, everyone. Um, Friday is the start of Christmas. Yay! So I'll be... Um, <laughs> I don't get that excited about Christmas. Some people got their Christmas decorations up already. I'm like, it's November. What are you doing? Um, so, yeah, I'll be here Friday morning with the start of Christmas. I'll probably gradually just, like, 
mix it into Christmas with some roses. Christmas roses, <laughs> probably on Friday, because I miss painting those. So I'll be doing that Friday. So thank you for joining me, everybody. Please give us a thumbs up or down, whatever you like to do. More interaction, the better. <laughs> and also subscribe if you did like it and gave me a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, take care and I will see you on Friday. Now I don't know how to stop my stream again because I've done something different. <laughs> right, okay, I've seen the button. Bye, thank you. Bye.